Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. The last episode we took on uh, Flame Stag and I can find him Morph Moth. Yeah, we took on Morph Moth and Flame Stag in the last episode, and we took we got um, the first zero part from the X Hunter Agile. In today's episode, we're going to be tackling Magnus Centipede's level. Now, if you guys notice that the X Hunters have indeed moved from the last episode. That's because I kind of made a mistake, but not really at the same time. <laughs> I actually, what I did was I, <laughs> after the recording, I accidentally was trying to save and, well, <laughs> I went to Flamestag's weapon, or Flamestag's uh, stage again, and I, I exited the stage real quick. That caused the X-Hunters to move and whatnot, and, <laughs> well, it actually turned out to be beneficial that they did, because now one of the X-Hunters is in Magnus Centipede stage. Um, if you guys notice that the searchlights kind of activate those little blocks there, and they call it fall down and start shooting you. I actually want this block to stay here. The reason why is, you guys see that shaft up there? We can actually get up there, and there's actually something up there. If you have Flame Stag's weapon, and you charge it, you dash, you can actually do a flame tackle attack and whatnot. It'll do it'll be like an air dash and whatnot. But if you come up there, there's a hard tank right there. Uh, there's another one of those in this stage that I kinda have to do that. Um, this is if people are wondering like, well it's probably beneficial that you get the air dash now. Not really. I kinda like I like doing it this way and whatnot and you know kind of getting that because the flame stag's weapon is kinda the same as that, as that air dash, so that kind of helps me out a little bit. The purple blocks there, you can actually destroy, and one thing you guys need to be careful of, these blocks will crush you and they will kill you, so you guys need to be careful about that. Uh, right here, there's another uh, shaft up there. We're going to try to get it with Flamestag's weapon again, like we did before, but you have to jump off from this ledge right here in order to get it. Uh, I missed it, missed, but you see how kind of tedious this is if you're if you don't do it right. Uh, I've done this before. If I can't do this, well, I'll, I'll just have to come back for it. But there's a sub tank up there. Uh, uh, come on, man, you can do this. Come on, buddy. Uh. Okay, let's do one last shot. Uh. Dang, never yeah, didn't get it. Um, well, you know what? I'm gonna come back to the stage. I'm gonna come back to the stage and get that because it, it is easier if you get both Air Dash and Flame Stag's weapon in order to get that. So we'll we'll come back for that sub tank. It's just I've gotten it before, but it's really tough to do it with just one Air Dash. It's really tough. And now this this boss right here, this little sword right here, he is really annoying. But the only way you can attack him is the hilt of the sword. That's the only way you can attack it and damage it. It's like a hologram of some sort. And whatnot. It's it's kind of, it, I like this little mini boss. I like the fact that Mega Man X2 introduces mini bosses in the stages. And I kind of appreciate that they did that. Kill this thing. Jump away. Get away from him. Kill it! Kill the sword. It'll come dashing at me now. Come on. Do, 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 do. And we kill the sword. I think it dropped something. Yep, it dropped health. Okay, good. Now, now, if you come down here and hug the right wall, you will avoid the searchlights. But if you come over here and hug the right wall, well, I, I kind of failed at doing so. If you hug the right wall, you will avoid the searchlight again. Now this section right here, I'm going to try to get to the X-Hunter door. But the thing is though, I have, it's like a race against time. You guys will see it here in a second. You see the you see the little blocks will start falling down and they will in fact damage you. I'm trying to race to the door because that will in fact kind of cause the door to be blocked if you're not fast enough. And then that will kind of screw up your chances of actually getting to the X-Hunter door. Anyways, we're going to come in here because there is an X-Hunter over here. I 
I am Surges, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification. This is the end for you. Surges is honestly one of the harder X hunters to fight because it's more or less now because he's a he's more annoying than he is. He you cannot damage him when he's on his little craft here. The only time you can actually damage him is whenever the whenever his shield's going down, whenever he's dropping bombs on it on him and whatnot. And once you attack him, he'll start doing his little I'm gonna flip attack. And it's easy to dodge the I'm gonna flip attack, but but it's really annoying. Like this is why I suggest getting or before you tackle Surges, you get a couple heart tanks first. Cause this boss will in fact hit you and he will do a lot of damage to you if you don't have that many sub tanks. Or not sub tanks, but heart tanks. That's why, whenever you have enough sub tanks, that's when he becomes a little bit easier. Since I have a lot of sub tanks, or sub tanks, heart tanks, since I have a lot of heart tanks, this boss will be a little bit easier than normal. Do, 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 do. You can actually attack him while he's doing this, I'm going to flip attack. Watch out for the mines too, he drops. And if you're running low on energy, make sure you make use of those sub tanks. Kill these little bombs here. I've actually glitched out this boss before. It's kind of funny. Like when, his, when he was taking his last hit and whatnot, he was flying in the air, and he caused caused his little sprite to move out of the way and whatnot. I'm actually going to use a sub tank. Yeah, that didn't really work out the way I wanted to, but oh well. Get out of the way. There we go. We killed Sergis. Oh, I'm on his platform. <laughs> you have merely delayed the inevitable. We will meet again. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> you got zero part number one. Okay, good. We got zero part number one. Now I'm kind of like low on health with that, without any sub tanks. This is just great. Okay, now come up this way, and you'll fight another mini boss, Mi Derpy Mr. Robot. He'll do simple patterns. He'll always do this. The I'm gonna shoot you. Then he's gonna try to shoot you with that. But it's pretty. E he, he, this mini boss is pretty easy. He just tries and try. Eh, of course I said that, but then again, I was low on health, so that's why. Alright, let's try again. Let's try and face him again. Fill up sub tank here. Whee! Fall down this way. Ow. Fall down. Since, well, we don't need the... Gosh darn it. I have no idea what that is for. I think it's more or less just trying to... I don't know. I don't know what the the little identification thing he is for, but I have no idea. Need health. Need health. There we go. Heal me up. Let's take on the bot. Let's take on the mini boss again. Hello, Mr. Derpy Bot. Like I said, he. Oh, that's what it's for. He becomes a little bit more powered up, I think. Oh. Wow, that's probably what happens. He becomes faster. Oh. And he becomes a lot more smarter whenever they identify you. Okay. I get what the bot that that was for then. Okay, go, let's kill him real quick. I get the whole identification thing now because it makes this guy stronger. Do, 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 do. Okay, we killed him. That's good. Now, can you drop me health? Thank you. Because I'll need it. And past here, there is a... Ooh, that was close. I almost died. That wasn't... That wasn't good. Okay. No, we're not going to be pushing me into oblivion. Ugh. 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 There we go. Go through the boss door there. 
But yeah, but that I figured out what that search thingy was for. Okay, okay. Now, Magnus Centipede is weak against Morph Moss weapon. That's why we're going after him next, because he's the next in the weakness order. If you if you go and attack uh, Morph Moth what, with uh, the X Buster, that little centipede or that little thing that was on top of his head that I just destroyed because I used his weakness, that will cause you to lose your abilities if he grabs you with him. And Morph Moth kind of likes to, or not Morph Moth, but uh, Magnus Centipede likes to teleport all over the place. But you can actually use a Morph Moth weapon pretty uh, breakingly this way because whenever it whenever it breaks, it'll break up into a diagonal four places. And you can use this to like get him where he's at, like this. You can actually get him that way. This boss is pretty easy whenever he uses weapon. Okay. I did that the wrong way. Okay, come on, Matt. You can do this. Uh, of course I say that the boss is easy. I'm getting owned by it. I've beaten this boss plenty of times. I don't understand why I'm having so much trouble. Okay, there we go. He got hit by it. Okay. Come on. Hit by that. There we go. Okay, come on. Out of the way. There we go. Come on, you can do this. Okay, come on. You only got a couple of hits left. Okay. There we go. If you if you use a Morph Moss weapon directly on him, it'll take like two or three health bars away from him. But if you use the little tactic I was using, like using the diagonal pieces that fly off. It I think only takes one HP off of him. But it's 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 his weakness, so that's why I suggest using. Upon defeating Magnus Centipede, we get his weapon. We get The Magnet Mine. The Magnet Mine is honestly uh I don't like this weapon all too much. I mean, it's the only weapon though that you can actually um you can actually control whenever you shoot it, like you can control what direction it goes in. So it's it's pretty useful. Now we're gonna go after Crystal S Snail Stage. And luckily for us, there's another X Hunter there. So we could probably get all the X Hunters in this episode. Anyways, let's take on Crystal Snail. I need to see how many lives I have first off. I have one life. Okay, well this isn't good. Um, it's because, the reason why I was asking is because, well, there is a heart tank in the stage right at the beginning, and it's it's known for actually killing a lot of people. So, um, anyways, you get this right armor and you come down this way, and then you have to dash all the way over there, over this pit here, and then just jump and try to get get it. I'm gonna try it real quick. Okay, dash, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Got it the first try. Okay, good. Woo. Anyways, we got the heart tank here. That's how you get that heart tank. Now we just ride all the way back. Crystal Snail stage is pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie, I usually save this stage for last because there's a lot of hazards that will instant kill you if you're not careful. We need this ride armor because we're gonna try to get to the X Hunter door. And, well, we need this ride armor in order to get it. Now you guys probably see that, well, we can't really move from here and now. But you can actually kind of, um come back to it. If you come over here and activate this little crystal, slide down and break that. Then immediately get back into your right armor that you just picked up. And then you can advance this way. Now, um, in order to get it, we need to... Well, let's kill this these things over here. Let's explore a little bit. I need to get that health down there. If I can get down there. Kill that thing. Oh, gosh darn it, the respawn rate. I forgot about that. There we go. I want to get that life because, well, that'll help me. Kill this stuff because only the right armor can break that crystal there. Grab that life. And now, immediately after we get that, we need to dash and glide up here. And then break this stuff up here. Ugh. No, get back in your right armor, Mega Man. Okay, let's try to get this. Destroy this stuff. Because destroying stuff is awesome. Let's fill up our sub tank. Let's fill up here. Now, right here, uh, you cannot wall jump these walls. I don't know why, but you cannot wall, right, 
wall jump up these. I'm gonna try to... I think you need your ride armor in order to get up there. There we go, and then you just uh, wall jump up these little columns here, and then you can climb up this way. Gosh darn it, don't drop down. There we go. Climb this way, and then climb up the ladder here. This is an X-Hunter door. This is one of the more cryptic X-Hunter doors to get to, because you need that right armor. Now, we are going to face uh, my least favorite X-Hunter. X! I shall crush you like a tin can! This is Violin. Violin, it, a lot of people say he's the easier one. I disagree tremendously. It's because of that freaking Wrecking Ball. I freaking hate it so much because it goes in an ungodly pattern that you can't really read at all. Uh, his weakness is, in fact, the double charge shot. I think it is. He does his little, I'm going to shoot you attack, but he continues doing his little Wrecking Ball attack, which is freaking annoying. I hate this Wrecking Ball attack so much with a burning passion. People who say that this guy is the easiest boss, I'm not... No, I disagree with you 100%. This guy is tough. I fucking hate him. Pardon my French there, but we killed him anyways. Of course I say that with a little rant, and I didn't really... I took the least amount of damage from him. He, oh my gosh, of course I say that. It cannot be! Now the unification is in jeopardy! I think it's mostly because I had more sub tank or he health tanks. Yes, heart tanks. I had more heart tanks when I took them on. You got you now got zero part number two. Now we have all the zero parts. Now we have unlocked the best ending for this game. So we're in good. What the? Oh, there was a spike there. Oh my gosh, I'm so retarded. I swear I'm so retarded sometimes. <sighs> that was kind of a jerk move by the game a little bit, <laughs> but, oh well. Let's just start the stage over again. That, that life was good. Used it well, I guess. I don't know. Probably a good thing that I kept that life, then. I'm sorry, like, I, I, I was like, I was ranting about Violin, and then I just, like, you know, it seems like I, I, you know, I had the easiest time with him. I think it's mostly because I think I stayed close to him. I, 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 I stayed close to that guy, so that's probably why I, I was take I didn't take that much damage from him. Because his Wrecking Ball, I think, doesn't go right towards him. So, yeah. Alright, let's 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 try to re get this life that I kind of lost. Life. Okay, kill these freaking things. Okay, let's wall jump it this way, because we're going to have to ditch our right armor this way. Now... Here is a mini boss. I'm gonna switch over to uh, Wheel Gators because this is this is actually helps with uh, this boss. This boss is really annoying because he has that little thing that kind of shoots all over the place. But other than that, if you use Wheel Gators weapon, it will in fact kill him pretty easily like that. So there we go. Okay, now what do we have in store for us? Oh, this part. Be careful. If you don't. If you don't race against the time there, that will, in fact, crush you, and that will kill you. Now, down here, if you slide down this wall down this way, you see a little passage passageway here, blocked by these little stupid little things here that keep shooting at you. There's actually an upgrade here. Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar option, optics. It uses some energy, but with it, you will be able to see objects that you could not see before. Good luck, Mega Man. I think this is last upgrade. I th no, 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 we have one more. Anyways, when we get this upgrade, it will enhance our head gear. What this, what this upgrade does, it allows us to see hidden passageway like that. You guys see this? If you come up here, there's actually a hidden passageway down here. We can actually get this life again. Yay! We got more lives because I to, to redo what I screwed up there. Okay, let's try to kill these things. But that's what the headgear does. It's actually like another weapon, per se. It's in your inventory as a weapon. So it uses energy. So I would use it sparingly a lot if you want to 
if you want to do it. But you can actually use it to unlock, uh, find hidden cap hidden stuff, like up here, I'll show you. Up here, this it, it seems like this room didn't doesn't have anything. Let's kill these bats. If you get the he headgear here, it'll show you there's something here. Now, I'll show how you get this item. If you get, uh... Is that Morph Moss Weapon? I think that's Morph Moss. Yeah, if you use Morph Moss Weapon and you charge it up, you can actually draw items near you. I didn't show that off in the last episode when we got it. Oh, God, these bats. I swear, these bats are annoying. Now, if you come up here, this is going to be really tough because, well, there's a lot of stuff. Chances it will kill you if you're not careful. Let's kill this bat here. Now, that little crystal is going to start falling down. I'd immediately grab this ladder and start climbing. And then come back down again. Now now you're ki now you're free to go again. Kill these bats. Good lord, there's a lot of freaking bats. Okay. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> Die, dude. Seriously. <laughs> That's getting annoying. Okay, this could be tricky right here. Come down here to activate the little crystal. And then it'll take us straight to the boss door. Now, we're going to be taking on Crystal Snail. Crystal Snail's weakness is magnet... The magnet bomb, or magnet mine weapon, and it's actually Crystal Snail is one of those tougher Mavericks. Not gonna lie, he's actually really tough because he has a shell, uh, a shell, a shell that's impervious to everything. Ugh. Okay. Well, if you do in fact use magnet mine, he will um jump out of his shell real quick. And you can use it to um, use it to damage him, and he will cause him to get out of his shell real quick. I think you can break him this way, but after a while, he will kind of like get smarter about it. We took out half his HP already. Oh, hold on a sec. I need to use this up tank. I don't care. I'm better to be safe than sorry. And then after a while, he will use an attack that will cause immense slowdown, and it'll kind of amplify gravities if you're not careful. Okay, come on, snail. Get out of your shell. Oh, God. There we go. Jump out of the way. Get out of there. Jump. Oh, God dang it. Seriously. There we go. We killed, we killed Crystal Snail. Crystal Snail, like I said, is one of those harder bosses because he'll do a lot of damage. But if you use his weakness, you can pretty break him pretty easily. Do 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 do. Upon defeating Crystal Snail, we get the Crystal Hunter. What this does is, is it when you shoot it, it'll freeze an enemy. I can try to reactivate zero to help, but I need more time before you can re reinstall his control chip. Try to slow them down. Good luck. That little scene activates after you get all the zero parts, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Exit save menu. Anyways, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. In the next episode, we are going to tackle the last Maverick and get uh, some items that we couldn't get before. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man X2. See you guys on the flip side.